Uh, sorry, we've got a slight reconfiguration today. We've moved around because Adam's um, put a ladder on the roof of the office to do DIY. He was up there a second ago. I'll show you guys. We're... He's been up there painting. So we're this way around today. Sorry about all the stuff in the background. Um, we've had to move a lot of the gym around to paint everywhere. So I've written down over what we're going to be doing. So we're going to do a quick bit of leg strength first to sort of burn your legs out. So we're going to be doing a superset of Bulgarian split squats and jump lunges. So we've been doing quite a lot of Bulgarians. You guys should be quite familiar with them now. Body weight is absolutely perfect. I'll just quickly go over them in case you haven't done them before. Um, so make sure that you're far enough away from the box um, that you're not kind of like having to, to bend too close because it's awkward. Um, so think about keeping your rib cage tucked down, shoulders back, and at the bottom, this back piece should be bent quite close to the box so that you're loading this glute. So you're driving up through this heel. You don't really want to be pushing up in the back leg too much. Time is being drawn in. So if you don't have any weight, um, but this starting a little bit easier, up the reps a little bit. We're going to be aiming for, I put 10, but I know for a lot of you guys, um, and for me to be honest, um, we haven't got that many weights left, so I'm having to use the same one. So if you need to up the weights a bit, um, or the reps, sorry, then do so. So we're going to go 10 on each leg of those, sort of maybe 15 seconds rest, and then we're going to go straight into 20 jump lunges. So that's 20 alternating, 10 on each leg. We'll then rest a minute. Um, and we're going to do three rounds of that, so it's just a sort of quick little bit of leg strength. Um, then we're going to go into three AMRAPs. They're all six minutes each, so it should be like a sprint uh, with one minute rest in between each one. So the first one, um, sorry, they're all going to be ascending for the first exercise. So that means you'll do two reps, then four reps, and six, uh, and then we've got different exercises in between. So um, the first one will be ascending with burpee box jumps, that's where you do a burpee in front of your box or chair, jump on it or step up. So you'll do two and then ten kettlebell swings, then you'll do four burpee box jumps, ten kettlebell swings, six burpee box jumps, ten, etc. We'll then rest a minute, the next six minute AMRAP, same uh, rep scheme, but it'll be with a dumbbell or a kettlebell clean. So for that we're doing like a goblet squat clean, so you're pulling it up, squatting the way down, standing up, so it's sort of like a deadlift into a goblet squat. So we'll do two of those, five burpees, four of those, five burpees, six, etc. Rest a minute. Then we're going to do an object ground to overhead. So that'd be like a dumbbell snatch, or um, you could do a kettlebell snatch, or if, you, if your kettlebell's a bit too heavy, you could do a kettlebell swing instead of a ground to overhead. Um, or if you've got a lighter weight, you could do like a clean and press. Um, and then we'll be doing 10 jump lunges in between. Don't worry about remembering that because we've got a minute rest. I'll tell you. Um, what exercise we're doing next as we go. So we're going to get warmed up first. Okay, so uh, to start with, we're just going to go um, and warm up our legs a little bit. So we're going to just do nice um, steady bodyweight squats. So 10 reps, just up and down. Take it nice and easy, drive your knees out. Try and keep your chest up, shoulders back. Alright, never mind. Alright, 10 um, forward stepping lunges. So just nice and gentle to start with. That's it, six, seven. Sounds weird, yeah. I think I'll just hit a button by accident. Sounds like it's underwater. Alright, back to 10 squats. So try and get a little lower this time. Squeeze your butt at the top. That's it, good. All right, this time we're gonna go for a step back lunge. So you're gonna step back, have a little lean back to stretch through the hip flexor the back leg. Time with 
That's it, good job. Back to squats, 10 reps. So try and get a bit warmth in the legs and into your joints. So try and keep your body upright if you can. So you don't want to like lean forward loads like this. <laughs> try and keep it as upright as possible. We're just going to lunge and twist over the front leg this time. So hopefully your legs feel a bit warmer. Sit nice and slow. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to have a little bit of a stretch and mobilise on the floor just to get into your hips a bit. So you're going to start off with your um, right knee up. I'm just going to sink into a hip flexor stretch and then push back into hamstring stretch. So hopefully, as you can see, we're doing this. So like this, just going to rock backwards and forwards, nice and dynamic. Ten on this side. That's it, good job, other side, so left leg comes forward, so you're sinking your hips down and then pushing your butt back. under your toes, drive your hips, uh, your knees out, sorry, with your elbows, trying to really sort of open your hips up, and you see your butt up to the ceiling, we're going to 10 reps like this, in your own time, hopefully you're starting to notice your squat mobility is improving a bit with doing these sorts of warm ups and that. each way. Good job. Alright, last one we're just going to do a little back mobilisation. So come onto your hands and knees. We're just going to go through cat cow. So nose up, tailbone up, and then round it off the other way. Just five like that. Weighted or unweighted. If you find a Bulgarian really hard, then you could just do like a regular lunge, weighted or unweighted, that would be absolutely fine. We'll have like 10, 15 seconds rest, and then we're gonna go into 20 jump lunges, so then we'll rest a minute. So, I'm already using my timer to time my power, so. Um, I can't think that Just 
I don't know what I did to the music, but it's fine. Okay, so um, grab the weight if you're going to use them. Um, if you've only got one weight, um, like say you've just got a kettlebell and you want to go quite heavy, um, I would probably hold, say if you've got your right foot on the floor and your left foot up, I'd probably hold the kettlebell in your left hand. Give them a little shake, hopefully they're already burning a little bit, and then we're gonna go straight into jump lunges. Ready? Okay, try and get that back knee to the floor, just kissing the floor, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a bit higher in between, eight, nine, Sorry guys, just trying to figure out what on earth I did to the music. <laughs> Somehow managed to um, make it sound like the speaker's on water. All right, we've still got about 30 seconds. Then we're going back to those Bulgarians. So that round shouldn't felt too bad. Starting to build up a bit of fatigue in the legs. If um, that felt easy, maybe do some more jump lunges or more Bulgarians.
Alright, minute rest. So let me know how you guys are feeling. So one more round of this, then we're going on to those arm wraps. Try and catch your breath. some water. We're going on to those six minute amps.
think I got onto the round of 14. So, oh, the next one is kettlebell or dumbbell cleans into five burpees, so regular burpees, not on the box. So remember here there are three without much rest in between, so raise yourself a little bit.
my back's pumped up. Oh. Be careful if there's anything that feels like it's hurting. Uh, please do give that a rest for the day. Choose something else. Most of you guys are experienced enough in your training now to know um, when it's like kind of a good sort of burn and when it's not. So pick, feel free to pick out a different exercise. My back's a little sore from training yesterday, so I may have to top out a ground toe overhead. We'll see how we go. So this one is object, ground toe overhead. So you've got a heavy rucksack, tapping to the floor, then overhead, um, or a dumbbell snatch or a kettlebell swing, and then jump lunges, 20, uh, 10 jump lunges in between.
guys let me know how you got on Kiana Jackie Tristan if you're doing it Jackie let us know if you're a hog roast today That was horrible, it was, wasn't it? Like, I literally made him up, and every time I think, why did I do that to myself? But thank you for joining in, because this morning I was feeling pretty lethargic, and that's woke me up. So you can kind of twist your opposite shoulder towards the knee that's on the box. This should be stretching here. Just breathe into it. I'm absolutely roasting. <laughs> Didn't put the air con on. It. Try and lean into it a little more now. Maybe take both arms over. If you've got time, stay in those stretches a bit longer. They're so good. Other side. If you're sort of redoing this one at home, I probably should have told you this at the beginning. If you're redoing this afterwards, don't feel like you have to do six minutes. If like four minutes is good for you, then that's absolutely fine. It's funny how on these ones, six minutes can feel like a lifetime, but these are a 20 minute one and things go faster somehow. So really lean across as you breathe out, take both arms over. That's it, gently ease out of that one. We're gonna go for a couch stretch, so foot up on the chair or sofa. And then this time you do want to keep your body upright because you should be feeling stretch in the hip flexor of the back leg. Try and drive your hips forward. Ease out a bit and swap sides. into that hip flexor as you can, but into the quad. Push those hips forward. Then from there, 
Go for a hamstring stretch, so foot up on the box, on the chair, sleep forward. Try and hold your tummy down towards your thigh. Like any of these ones, you can perhaps save them. That one would be quite a good little like quick workout, completely warm and cool down. You can probably get it done in like 30 minutes if you miss out the Bulgarians at the beginning, just do the abraps. So if you're a bit pushed for time, you could do that. Last one, just go tricep stretch. See? So tomorrow, um, back at 12.30, it'll be with me again. If you've got any requests, let us know. I know it feels like it's a lot of uh, different ways to do lunges and burpees um why you haven't got any equipment but do the best of what you got um oh katie well done in the, i'm in the bin i mean look at this i think it's actually pouring off me well done katie good job jackie and everyone else that's joined in uh see you tomorrow